If you just bought a new construction home, here's two ways you can add major value to it after you move in. So if you're building a home, especially with a production builder, you're going to realize that the builder is looking for ways to cut costs wherever possible. So one big area that they do this in is light fixtures. You never want to upgrade light fixtures when you're shopping with the builder because usually they're going to charge you a fortune for the selections and their selections are not going to be that great. So we always recommend going with whatever is the basic lights that the builder puts in the home with no charge and then later replacing them yourself. See how changing out something like a basic ceiling fan in a living room with a really nice chandelier makes a huge difference on the overall look and feel of the home. So changing out a couple of light fixtures in the main areas that you're going to wow your guests with that's going to give a lot of resale value in the future as well. It can instantly transform your home from something that looks like every other house on the block to something that looks more luxury and modern. Some of our favorite lighting stores in the Austin area are Tri Supply. This one is located close to the airport. It has probably the biggest selection of lights on display on their floor and you can also order online off their catalog. They have thousands and thousands of fixtures to choose from. They also have designers in store that can look at pictures of your home and help you make good selections on what's going to work in your space. Some other options for higher end lighting is Ferguson's. You can also go to Lamps Plus at the Arboretum. You can do some price shopping comparison and see who can give you the better value. A lot of times if you buy in bulk, you will get extra savings and discounts. So the second big area where you can add a lot of value to your home is landscaping. Usually the builders are going to landscape just your front yard. They'll put in a tree. They might do some planter beds with some bushes, but in the backyard, they typically just do grass and that's it. So know that that's not how it's supposed to stay from that point forward. You're expected to fix up the yard, add your own design and character to it. So you can transform it into whatever you want. But definitely if your house backs to another neighbor and you don't have a lot of privacy, plant some bushes or trees in strategic places and do this you know, shortly after move in because those trees and bushes are gonna take years to grow and develop. But I can tell you when I'm trying to show buyers homes that have been you know, around for five to 10 years, and someone did not do any landscaping and it's still just the blank canvas with grass and you're looking straight into the neighbors, it's a huge turnoff for the buyers. They walk out and they're like, oh my gosh, there's no privacy, there's no trees, there's no landscaping. And that can really hurt your sale in the long run when you do need to move on to a different place. So if you can at least plant some bushes or trees, I always recommend getting ones that are native to Texas so you have less chance of losing them in the hot summers and cold winters, but just strategically place them in areas where you're going to block the neighbors, give you more sense of a private backyard that will definitely help you years down the road when you are ready to sell. I'd love to know your thoughts on this video. What else would you wanna upgrade after building?